all right so before i start this video i feel like i have to answer some of your questions if filipinas are not open to talk about sex then why there are lots of single moms in the philippines okay let me answer this once and for all we skip the talking part i hope i answer your question Hey fam, this is me again, Jo, and welcome back to another episode of Filipino Mindset. In this video, you will learn about what are the things that foreigners do that makes us think that you are a green flag. Right, so I will not be explaining too much, but if you know, you know. First one that foreigners do that makes him a green flag is if he sends money. So I know what you're thinking, maybe you're thinking right now, that, oh, Filipinas are only after money. But I assume and I believe that you are smart enough to discern if she's only after your money. So the next one is if you treat the whole family to dinner or to an outing. Like you went on vacation and then you go to the beach with her family and then you pay for everything like the entrance but don't worry the entrance fee is only 10 pesos or 20 pesos the next one is if you renovate their house just like what i've told you i'm not explaining too much this one is if you send her sister her siblings or her nephew or niece to school if you send allowance to her parents. The next one is you send money when there is an emergency. Uh, let me be clear that not doing all of the things that I mentioned will make you a red flag to a Filipina. It's a matter of communication. Like for example, I know a friend who have a foreigner partner who they have this conversation that it's very clear for both of them that the foreigner will, will only take care of her and her entire family. And that's, that's okay if both parties agree. Because that's more of like an expectation of you because Filipinas uh, is very family oriented. So... They expect to help one another if someone is um, if someone is in need, you have to uh, it's automatic that you help the other uh, parts of the family. So it's good that you know that. So what's not good is if you're doing all of the things that I mentioned because that is expected of you as a partner of a Filipina, but you are complaining. Why are you complaining? You brought that into yourself. I know some of you have experienced this. If you're married to a Filipina, I know that uh, the things that I mentioned, you've done that already. Last example of a green flag foreigner that I can give for now is my uncle. Uh, as you all know, if you watch my previous video, my aunt is married to a European guy. And yeah, he did some of the things that I mentioned. And we didn't even ask him to do that. Like, for example, um, he uh, paid for my tuition fees when we were in high school. And we didn't even ask him to do that. He just did it because he just feels it. When he came to the Philippines, he feels like, ah, I am blessed. I am blessed in my country. And now I went to the Philippines and this is the life that I have seen. I think he feels that way. So he just offered it. And yeah, we're happy to accept the offer the time because we really need that. And yeah, all of the help that he gave to us was not in vain that's it for today's video fam today is a good weather and yeah i just make this video real quick before i go out so bye bye